Uh, the reason why we're doing this video today, the purpose is to clear up uh, any questions that anybody ever had about uh, what kind of a head will go onto what kind of an engine for an uh, 1800cc MGB engine. So the reason what prompted this is uh, I was in a discussion group on uh, a Facebook post. Uh, I, um, I got in involved in a discussion with a gentleman who wanted to put a new head on his um, his early MGB, I believe he said it was a 64. He wanted to put a uh, uh, a newer head on there, uh, but he didn't know if his engine um, could take any head or if if he would have to to you know buy a specific head. And so what I had told the gentleman was that I didn't think that you could just put every head on there, and that um, you would need to make sure that if his Mark One had the notches in there, then he'd be able to put any head on there. But if it was um, uh, the engine block did not have those relief marks for the exhaust valves there. Are, I, I didn't know at that time what models of heads he would be restricted from, but I knew that you couldn't just put each one on there. Um, and so another gentleman, I don't know, I didn't even take track of his name, um, he posted uh, a really great reference site, uh, a site that I never would have seen otherwise. Um, it was uh, from a gentleman in Oregon um, here on, on the state side. Um, and he, or I guess Oregon, if you're from Oregon, you don't say Oregon. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he is really knowledgeable in uh, MGB heads um, and had done a website that explained all the model years and all the differences. Um, and he specifically said uh, the model type of head that you cannot put on older uh, engine blocks. Um, and if they don't have that relief, then you, the, you'll have problems with the exhaust, and it's because of the depth of the combustion chamber. Um, uh, I still don't know for certain if um, this particular model of head is um, a um, non-interference head. By that, I mean that the valves don't protrude and interfere with the pistons. Um, I'm fairly certain that that's the case, but uh, it does have a relief valve or a relief cutaway in the engine block for the exhaust valve. So. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go through this. Um, so first things first, um, let's, let's just real quick go through the different um, types of engine heads uh, that you'll see out there. The early heads, uh, 64 to 65, they'll have a uh, 12H906. It has a uh, 1.5625 uh, inlet valve and a 1343 exhaust valves, and you'll see all of these have uh, 1343 exhaust valves. They, they never made a bigger exhaust valve than that. Um, subsequent model years, uh, when you get into 65 to 68, um, the same size uh, exhaust valves, uh, they have just a different model in here, and we'll go over uh, what the differences are in those as well. Um, getting into 69, um, they have the, uh, the 12H2389, and then you get to the oddball, and this is the 72 to 74 and a half. Not a really long run, but the advantage to this particular head is the uh, 1.1 and 5 eighths, uh, 1.625 inlet valves. Uh, a bigger inlet valve allows you to, to push more air through, and it makes the engine gain a little bit more horsepower. You got to think. Um, these were only ran for a short period of time but they do require the exhaust valve cutoffs on the block. If, you, if your block does not have that cutoff, then you can't put this in there. Um, when, uh, after, se after 74, they went to the CAM 1106, which is about 74 after this short run of these uh, other heads, um, and pretty much everything is the same from there going forward. Uh, these uh, uh, 4743 and the 47, 36 um, are very similar. Uh, they just have a couple of uh, out, outwardly uh, visible differences uh, regarding um, uh, water jackets and things like that. Um, so this is the, the early breakdown of, of basically where those come from. 64 to 65, you'll have this one here. When you get to 72 to 74, um, you'll have uh, the 29, 23, and you have to have the, um, the exhaust valve cutouts in the block in order to use that head. So in a nutshell, the answer is no. You can't put any head on any block. You have to have those cutouts um, 
if you're going to use this particular head. Now, with that said, you could put an earlier head on an, on an older or a newer engine. Um, so, I mean, the only difference is that um, you need to have this, uh, these cutoffs if you're going to use this one particular head, the 2923. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and run you through the um, uh, flow speed website. And I'll show you, uh, the first thing that I wanted to do when we get through this is let's pretend you, um, you want to put a, a head on your engine and you want to, you want to, without taking your engine apart, you want to open up the hood and see what kind of head do I currently have. Well, obviously, if you, if you take the, engine, uh, the, um, the lifter cover off, you can see straight away, it's marked right there. You can see it right in there and you'll see these numbers, they, they're, they're pressed in or they're, they're put in in the casting. Um, and it's really easy to find those. Um, but if you don't have that, uh, I'm gonna kind of show you through here uh, what the outside uh, visible clues would be to tell you what kind of head that you have. Um, all right, so um, with the, uh, 20 uh, with the 1326 you have the, the 18 in the cast on, on the outside here um, but on the um, the 2389 there's not a little L right here so um, the early heads um, they had the 18 but they didn't have a little a little marking right in here with the L the other thing that you notice in here is when you get to this is uh, 69 to 71. Um, yeah, 69 to 71. Uh, they you get the, what they call the smog heads, right? Um, the smog heads you'll see they have a little port right here, right in these little spots right here, where um, there's a, an, an air manifold that would apply uh, fresh air into the exhaust to help to um, uh, burn off hydrocarbons uh, in the exhaust phase of the engine. So um, you see there's a little port right in here. That's where you first start seeing that is um, in, this, in this model. Now, obviously with the, with the Mark 1s, you don't have the smog heads, so you won't have those, those little ports um, on the side. They, you, you won't have them. And it's not really a good example right here. I suppose maybe it is. Yeah, okay. So right here, um, in the 2389 head, you can see where the, the airport is right here on this first bolt hole. And on the earlier heads, see there's no, there's no airport right there. Um, so th that's significant, looking from the outside in. Um, when you get to the um, 2923, these are the ones with the bigger inlet valves, right? Um, the, the 2923s have most of them, it says here usually, usually have an, an L cast right up here. Um, this is at, uh, at the back of the engine. The, um, the firewall is right here uh, in the back of the engine. You have a little L right there. But notice also that this is a smog head and it has those little air ports. Um, the, uh, the next model down is the CAM 1106. When you get to the next model, uh, going 74 forward, the 1106 has an offset right here. And this is, um, it's significant. We'll get to that in a minute. But the other thing that is different, where that L was on the 2923, uh, um, that L is now taken by um, a, uh, uh, a water jacket port that is right in here. I don't know enough about the engine to know what, what that was used for, but it's a water jacket, and, and in this case, it's capped off. Um, and they, they sell these, these blanking kits uh, at Moss, so it's a pretty standard thing to do to blank off this port. Um, so uh, anyway, so that's when you get to the 70s, the mid-70s, they, they have um, a water jacket port back here. Um, and then when you get to these newer models, you can see the the water jackets might be missing, but it's still the the metal is in there. It doesn't go down and have a place where the L is. So you can see from from this one right here. Uh, also, they put the patent number on the inside as opposed to on the outside, because in this particular model, this is the 
the 4736. These are the newer ones. Um, they have the airports. You can see the airport would have been right here. But they take the patent number, which on all the other heads, there's a patent number right here. And they, they put that patent number on the inside for some odd reason. But anyway, it helps you to identify uh, what types of head that you're looking at. Um, so anyway, this is a really, really helpful website. If you have any questions about heads, um, I reached out to Sean Brown here <coughs> um, via email and uh, got his permission to share this information um, in, in my YouTube uh, series here. Uh, is a very knowledgeable gentleman, knows a lot about the cylinder heads. Uh, he has plans on updating this information later. Um, but if you have questions about what kind of head goes on to what type of engine, this is the, the greatest resource for that. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, drop an insert here into uh, the head that I currently have. All right, so this is my head right here. And you can see that it is a 2923. But looking at it from afar, let's pretend that the car is put together. Uh, here, let me, let me uh, just mock it up with the uh, lifter cover. All right, so here is with the lifter cover. So if this is in the engine and you wanted to see what kind of head it was, you wouldn't be able to read that, that etching that's in the inside but you could derive from the 18 and the L and the, um, the patent number being on here and uh, a lack of a, um, a water jacket uh, valve right here that this is the uh, 2923 and there it is right there. <clears throat> All right, so what's different about the 2923 um, and, and why would you not wanna use this one on an older head or a, an older engine? Let me show you. Let me flip it over. All right, so right here you can see that the biggest difference is the size of the intake valve. The intake valve is much larger. When you look at some of the older engines, the gap between the intake valve and the exhaust valve is a little bit bigger. But there is... A, a recess that's been machined into the block um, to make room for this exhaust valve. You can see on the, on the center, it, they're both together, and on the outside, they're on the outside. So let me show you real quick on the head, with, or on the, uh, on the block, what that looks like. All right, so here you go, looking at the block on the 18B engine, and you can see there is a notch machined into the inside of the, the cylinders um, on the inside two cylinders and then it's on the outside of the outside two cylinders. And that makes room for the exhaust valve being pushed out to the side. If your engine doesn't have that notch, then you cannot use the 2923. It's designed to have this little notch. So if you don't have that notch in your block, then you can't use the 23, 29, or 2923 um, head in your engine. So I hope that answers the question. All right, so um, quick note on rocker assemblies. First of all, you'll notice, like I said, this is a 2923, which was manufactured in 1974 or thereabouts. Um, this vehicle uh, is a 1977, so the this head has been replaced. Obviously, somebody wanted to put a, a larger intake valve head onto uh, an 18V engine, and you can do that, but the 2923 has an inline oil hole, and in 77, it didn't. So the next model up um, had an offset oil hole, and the rockers for that, for that engine would have had the oil coming in here and then take a little turn to go up into the, into the rocker. Um, so the, just FYI, you know, you can replace and use different heads, but make sure that you're matching the components. Um, looking at the wear patterns, you can see this engine was just spilling oil out into the head. It wasn't going up into the rockers like it should have been. Um, the When you line them up, this much of it would be exposed and oil would have just been pouring out. Now, I imagine some of it, if it had good enough pressure, would have gone up uh, the shaft and, and oiled them because the, there's not a lot of wear on these. Um, and they, don't, they don't chatter or anything, so I'm still going to use them. But I'm going to replace this, this end post um, because it's the wrong part. So, yeah, you can interchange these heads and you can make them work, but make sure that you're matching all the components to make them work properly. So, 
That's, uh, that's something to, 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 to be aware of, is that if the oil line is in line, then you have to probably think about replacing this if, it's a, if you're using a newer rocker. Um, so anyway, little note on rocker assemblies and what to be mindful for. All right, so uh, I hope that clears it up to you, for you all. Um, and uh, if you uh, see some value in this, uh, please share this video, comment, subscribe. Um, I, uh, uh, in my next video, I'm going to um, take apart the, uh, uh, the rocker arm assembly um, and uh, see what kind of damage we have from that, uh, from that oil problem. Uh, so stay tuned and um, we'll check back later. Cheers.